Hello and welcome to the latest monthly masterclass. This one is going to focus on a technology that's going to, in my opinion, change the world of work for us all, Microsoft Copilot. So I guess we better start by saying, well, what is Microsoft Copilot? Copilot is generative AI merged with the Microsoft world, the Microsoft graph, as they call it which basically means it's AI that has access to your corporate data. And what that means is it can do a whole host of tasks for you that the likes of ChatGPT simply can't. I think the best way to kind of explain Copilot is to look at some real world examples of how it can help a person throughout their day. So that's what we'll do. We'll look at five things that Copilot can do for you out of the box. The first thing it can do is write a tender. So let's say I have a meeting uh, with a client about a new opportunity. So I do that in Teams uh, and I record that, that meeting. At the same time, I take some notes in OneNote uh, around the meeting. When that meeting finishes, I can open up Word, Word with Copilot built into it will immediately ask me, right, what do you want to write? And I'll tell it, I'll say, well, I want you to write me a tender and I want you to do that based on this meeting and I'll point it to the meeting I recorded and these notes. And not only that, I want you to do it in the style of this document, which is the tender that maybe I produced a month ago. So I give it that information. I hit return and off it goes and it writes me a document. Now, once it's wrote me that tender document, I'm probably not going to be happy with it in its, in its first form. So if I want to amend it, I absolutely can do. I can do that myself or manually, but why, why do that when I can have Copilot assist me? So from that, I can ask Copilot to write me an FAQ to append to the end of my document. Or maybe I want Copilot to change a, a particular paragraph, make it longer or shorter, change the writing style. I can do all of that using the power of generative AI and ultimately uh, produce a tender that's ready for the client. And I think one of the key things that we see with Copilot and how it's gonna help people is it's not gonna do all of your work, but what it is gonna allow is for you to never have to start from a blank piece of paper, from a blank document ever again it's going to be able to do a lot of the heavy lifting. And then you come in to, to kind of add the, add the finishing touches. And tender writing, I think, is a really good example of that. Now, once I've wrote this thing, or rather Copilot has helped me write this thing, maybe I then need to present it. Well, again, I can use Copilot to help me with that. Copilot is built into all of the Office apps, so that includes PowerPoint. So I can open up PowerPoint. And I can say, right, I need you to write me a presentation and I want you to do it based on this document, i.e. my tender document. So I point it to that and it writes me a presentation. I can be more specific. I can tell it how many slides I need this presentation to be. I can tell it what the, present, the presentation is for. So I can say that this is, a, this is a sales presentation. So I need you to write one as such. I need you to include this sort of imagery in it. Maybe I don't have the right image. I can get it to create an image for me all using AI. If I want to then send that presentation as an email, then I can open up Outlook and I can utilize the power of Copilot in there to write me an email to the client um, describing what's in the presentation and have that completely drafted for me. Obviously, I then insert a link to the actual presentation and I can send that through. There's loads more power within Copilot as well than just it being able to kind of write documentation for me. And I think Outlook is a really good example of this. Um, so within Outlook, it can act as my personal assistant. So I can get it to summarize emails that I've missed while I was out and flag important items. I can have it to I can have it draft responses to emails already in my in my inbox. I can have it help me prep for meetings by asking it what I need to prepare for, what subject areas it thinks are going to come up in those meetings based on email conversations that I've been having with the people in that, in that uh, meeting. I can even have it set up meetings for me so I can invite everyone in a particular email to a lunch and learn about a new product launch. It will do all of these things for me just by kind of typing in using, using natural language. It can also really help me out within Teams. So one of the things that it can do within Teams is it can help me catch up on meetings, either meetings that I miss entirely or meetings that I miss the start of. So if I miss a meeting entirely, well, I can, as long as I know in advance, I can tell it and I can say, look, I'm not going to be able to attend this meeting, but I'll tell it and I want that recorded for me. And when it records the meeting, it's then going to have access to what goes on in that and I can interrogate that data. 
So if I want to look at that meeting later on, I don't necessarily have to watch the whole thing anymore. I can just ask Copilot the questions that I want answers to, which might be, you know, what was the sentiment at this meeting? Uh, what key topics were discussed? What were the outcomes? What tasks were created off the back of it? And it will be able to give me all that information. If I join a meeting late, I can ask it to summarize what I've missed in the meeting thus far, and it will do that. I can get it to create a table of pros and cons for a topic that we're talking about within the meeting. I can ask it what decisions were made in the meeting, what some suggested next steps might be. Really, really powerful stuff. One of the other things that Copilot is really going to help with is around kind of analyzing data. So one of the things that businesses have lots of is data, but it's often unstructured. And if it's unstructured, it's not necessarily all that useful, or it may live in lots of disparate areas. Now, if I can bring that data into one place, i.e. SharePoint by exporting uh, tables from the various apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis into my Microsoft environment, then Copilot can analyze that for me. So I can ask Copilot to analyze sales data to maybe break down sales by type and channel. I can ask it to make projections. So I can say, right, well, based on the last 10 years of sales data, how much will I make in March, 2024? What are my leading products? What do we sell most of? When do we sell most of them? What should I promote over the next quarter? What should I do to improve sales of this particular item? It can do all that sort of stuff. And it's not just guessing, it's doing that based on information that I've got access to. I don't think there's any doubt that Copilot is gonna be a game changer. I don't think it's a matter of businesses being able to choose whether they go with Copilot or not. I think you're going to have to to stay ahead of the game. So it's really important that you consider how to be able to do that. Copilot can deploy itself really easily, but your data has to be in the cloud. So you have to have migrated it in the SharePoint and OneDrive. So if you haven't done that yet, now is the time to be considering that. And if you have, you need to ensure that it's secure. So you need to ensure that you've turned on all the various policies and procedures that you can do within the Microsoft world to ensure that your data remains safe and that the right people have access to it and the wrong people don't. So lots to consider, but I'm sure you agree, really exciting times ahead. And I hope you enjoyed this month's masterclass.